Okay, thought I'd give you a little bonus video so you could start messing around with that lick from Thunder, Billy Strings. Um, so first we'll talk about the lick, then we'll talk about the chords. You may already know the chords. But the lick, once he gets past the beginning, is just kind of a jam in D. We won't talk about that right now. We'll get to the point where the song begins. And so you go ahead and tab this out. Starting on the high E string, we have three to two, and that's a pull off. So we're just picking the G, and that pulls off and get, we get the F sharp. So it's three pulling off to two. And then the third fret of the B string. And then the first, second fret of the G string. So we have three, two, three, two. And what he's basically doing there is outlining a D chord. Because the third, the second, third, and fourth note are the notes in a D chord. So we have Okay, the second lick is open G and then the fourth fret of the D string pulls off to the second fret of the D string. So that means you want to have, when you play that, you want to have the first uh, finger and the ring finger down. The ring finger will be on the fourth fret and the first finger will be on the second fret of the D string. So once again, the second lick starts with the open G. And then when you put that down, you want to put both of those down, the first and the third, because you're going to pull off. And then with your middle finger, you're going to play the third fret of the A string, which is the C note. So altogether, that's... So going back to the first one, Okay. So the timing on that, the counting would be if you're going to count yourself in one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. Okay. One and two and three, four, one and two and if you, uh, after you practice the lick, if you set the video like on uh, maybe half speed for starters, you can probably play along. Okay, and then the final lick is starts with the open A string, and we're going to hammer down to the third fret of the A string, like that. And then we're going to play the open D. Then we're going to play the third fret of the A string again, and then the open A string again. So we're going to go open A, hammer, open D, third fret of the A string, open A. And then we're going to play the low G, third fret of the low E string. And then we're going to play the first fret of the low E string and hammer down with the second finger, like that, from the first fret to the second fret. And then we'll end on the open D. So that final lick again, open A, hammer down to the third fret, play the open D, play the third fret of the A, the open A, third fret of the low E, first fret of the low E, hammer down to the second fret, and then the open D again. 
So all together that's Okay, so they once again the first lick. Three, four, three, four. And then you would go to a D chord. Okay, so it's important to get the pull-offs and the hammer-on. So remember, when you first start it, you want both of those fingers down. Pull off. Play the D note. Play the A note. Play the open G. Put both fingers down and do the pull-off from the fourth to the second fret of the D string. Play the third fret of the A. Play the open A and hammer down to the third fret, play the open D, play the third fret of the A, open A, third fret of the low E, first fret, hammer down to the second fret, then the D, and as you play that D, you'll put your fingers on the uh, D chord. Three, four, So there's a little something for you to mess with um, if you like and practice it as much as you want and try to play along with Billy at uh, reduced speeds and with a lot of practice you could probably get it up to the uh, actual speed. Enjoy!